This here in this box, no, no, not that box, this box is the most expensive motorcycle that you can buy on Amazon, and it's a V-twin. Calm down, calm down, calm down, guys. I have to say that buying motorcycles in boxes is a real addiction. It's just as real as never ordering french fries, but eating all of your husband's, and just like scrolling on TikTok while you're in the bathroom, avoiding your fatherly duties while you're doing your fatherly duties. Now, I can't wait to open up this box and see what's inside. Now, the best thing about it is I bought this thing with money that I was gonna use to give Dan the cameraman a raise, but this is just as good. So because I bought it, no one owns me. I can say whatever I want to about it. If it's awful, you're gonna know about it. But first, what is this box? Craig, what's the deal with this? That's a viewer present. Somebody surprised us with a box. A viewer sent this to us. Yeah. You're not allowed to use a chainsaw when you open it. Forget that. We'll get back to that later. We got no, we'll do that in a later video, but I'm pretty excited about it. He said it's a motorcycle, but it's a pretty small box. So we have bought a lot of motorcycles off of Amazon. We haven't bought all of them. And a lot of the ones that have come up lately have just been kind of boring. It's Chinese junk, small little engines. This one's actually different. It's got a Springer front end on it. It is a V-twin. And actually this box, this box is big bigger than the box that Harley Davidson sent us when they sent us the, the new Sports Terres. So, someone did send me a nice sharp knife. Let's pop this thing open. You guys thought I was gonna open this up with a knife, didn't you? Nope. Greg, you wanna grab the thing? I'm grab the thing. Now I've opened up motorcycles with a lot of different ways. Knives, my hand, chainsaws. There's only one real way to open up a motorcycle. That's a, that's a bad idea. The knife will be fine. Uh, with all my uh, viewers. You changed, man. You changed. You used to be fun, used man. Used to be fun. This is from Massimo. Massimo. And apparently it's an American company. Assembled in the U.S. Assembled in the U.S. Clearly it says made in China. So made in China, assembled in the U.S. Do we know if it's an the American company? There's a website somewhere in between. From looking at the website, it looks like a very Chinese company. <laughs> a little bit of translation loss. Wow. That's a big bike. 90 inches long. That thing's 90 inches long. It's a little bit shorter than my BMW R18. That's a pretty, that's a pretty big bike. Normally it's stuff that comes out of China. China, 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 China. And these types of bikes are single, single cylinder. They're all really small engines. And this is no exception though. This also has a really small engine. Craig, what do you think the best way? Look, look how this box. So on this side of the box, the handlebar was just poking out. It was just stab, stabbing out like this because the whole box just shifted sideways. I think if we just Take out all these screws at the bottom, we can lift the whole thing up from the bottom. You don't reckon? I done reckon. All right. These big ones are a different size than the small ones. All right, before we pop this thing off, let me show you guys what we're dealing with over here. This is the Massimo motorcycle, hand soon. Is that, is that how you do it? Hand soon leather seats. This sucker is a five speed, 6.8 liter motor. But then when you go to the website, you learn even cooler things about it. This is the Voger, Voger cycle. So cool. 78 miles per hour. First of all, 4,900 bucks, I got ripped off. On the website it said they're, they're selling for 5,000 bucks. I paid at least seven or 6,000 for it. The Vulgar is built from attention. From the position of attention, it's like an army. Oh yeah, from, yeah. from, <laughs> from attention, right. Everyone's standing straight up when they build it. From being built from attention. Get your military grade bobber today. This is military, I don't know what a military grade bobber is, but this is it. Let's do this, Craig. Let's do this. Uh, hold up. You have you have to go your okay, you over that. Is this the most successful unboxing we've ever done? I think it could be. I mean this is supposed to be a brand new motorcycle. This bag looks like it's 80 years old. Well we're good at unboxing old motorcycles. We are the best. Wow. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. This is a $7,000 motorcycle, $7,000. In a moment, I'm gonna show you all the bikes that you can compare this to. Look at how you started. <laughs> Are you serious? This is the turn signals. That's the start button. 
This is the on-off kill switch. How is that a thing? So just to put this in the context, we paid $7,000 for this bike. Here are some other bikes from other brands that you may have heard of that are cheaper. The Honda Rebel 300 is only 4,500 bucks. The Honda Rebel 500 is only 6,200 bucks. The Royal Enfield 650 is $5,800. And the Kawasaki Vulcan 650S, which is an amazing motorcycle, is the same price at $7,000. And the Husqvarna 401 Vitpilin it's only 5,400 bucks. And there's a bunch more other bikes that are cheaper than this. All with multiple year warranties, all from brands that you've heard of before, and all with much bigger engines, and all with non-hardware store style ignition switches. Look, let me show you something. Here's the cheapest, crappiest bike you could buy on the internet. I think it's called the Magician. It is called the Magician. Look at the buttons on this. This was bought at the, at the local hardware store. This looks like something I built in my garage. A little disappointed. You're already tacking six, a little over five grand. Holy cow, this thing's already at 5,000 RPMs? That's really quiet. This is a shower cap. I'm taking some for my wife. Except her head's not this big. They may. Now I'm ready to like serve sloppy joes. This was a leather. What is the, what's going on here? These springs aren't doing anything. Craig, tell me if these springs are doing anything. Nope. Hand sewn stitching. It feels pretty good. These are not gonna last. Are the turn signals allowed to be that far back? There's no way, right? I don't think so. Because if I'm back, if I'm here, if I'm in this side of the lane, I can't see that you're turning that way. Right. Even standing here, I can't see that turn signal at all. That's not legal. Is this bike even street legal? I don't know. Now's a heck of a time to find out. As a license plate holder, it has to be. I don't recall getting a title for it though. Maybe it's in a bag of spare parts. I do like that gold chain though. Pretty bougie. That gold chain is dope. I bet you it's like a guitar string. Ding. You know, you know what that gold chain reminds me of? Mr. T. Ding. It's toy, like toy go. So I'm, I hate, I, I can't do saran wrap. Really? Yeah. No, saran wrap is literally the worst. By the time you take it out of that cardboard tube and try to put it on your leftovers, it looks like a ball. I like to do a really good job at putting saran wrap on like a, like a bowl with like stuff in it. And then uh, I'll do it, I'll make it all perfect. So people don't notice it and they try to reach in. And... Like the old toilet bowl the trick? The old toilet bowl trick, which is an awful trick. Is it me or does all the chrome look like plastic? Uh, pretty much is plastic. That is plastic. This might be metal. That's plastic. Plastic. See the plastic. engine's plastic? That's metal. Yeah, that's plastic. Let's take these off. What are they hiding? More plastic. Plastic engine. There's so much electronics. Like this is, like they removed this with Photoshop in the, uh, in the pictures. This, this much. All plugging into the same stuff. It's hilarious. Is this, this is fuel injected, I guess. The ad said military grade. Military grade. Wait a second. There's no way this is military grade. This is military grade. Wait a second. This is random grunts gonna break this thing apart. Hold on a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's, it's what I don't see. Wait a second. Where's the exhaust? <laughs> I don't know, it's not there. Well, I can tell you it's not in that little box. Maybe it is. No way. Why would they Why would they leave it off if it fits in that box? It can fit it in the crate. Ben, did this thing come with a title? <laughs> did a title ever come in the mail? Did I buy the most expensive, stupidest, non-street legal, off-road only motorcycle? With no exhaust? It's gotta be in here. What's in this box? Yep. No way. That's the exhaust. Some bikes have exhaust mirrors. Instead of exhaust, they just, yes, have, yes, yes. they just have side view mirrors. You can't just put DOT on it, and that means it's DOT approved. Says who? That's how I make my dirt bike street legal. I just get a Sharpie and DOT. write DOT on the fender. Yeah, well, that's what I did with uh, that bike. Street legal in all 50 states. This one has an exhaust. Can you use this? Nah, uh, different type of exhaust. So, is that for real? First of all, I just want to say, there's someone out there who's like, oh, come on, man, you're being mean to this company. You're not like giving them a, I'm giving them a fair shake. But if you look at the Amazon listing, I'm the only person who's ever bought it. There's not a single review on here. I'm the only, let's just make it clear. I'm the only person dumb enough to have bought this motorcycle for that kind of money. Does it even have an exhaust on the photo? Yes, it does. Look at it. 
Oh, that's a very noticeable exhaust. There's two of them. Very much exhaust. Well, it's, you know, it's V-twin. Not, we're not missing anything, are is it? Is it hiding somewhere? Am I sitting on it? Are you sitting on it? Is it Bluetooth? Maybe it's inside the headlight. Maybe it's inside the... Criminally. Is it in there? Yo, I can see daylight through the bottom here. No. Oh, shoot. Run a little bit again, so we know it's you. So you know it's me, like we're faking this. <laughs> Look, and they have the holes, but none of that's a vent or anything. Did you buy a toy motorcycle? Like, is this real? This is like when they see something on a, on a real motorcycle, and they don't know why, they, why it's supposed to be like that. Well, I can tell you this, it's going to be loud. Yeah, this is like the sending unit. Mm -hmm. While Craig goes and does this battery thing with acid. And My wizardry. And this acid. We did a little research on Massimo. So as you can see, Massimo's got their hands in a lot of different things. They got, they got UTVs, they got ATVs, motorcycles, mini bikes. They got farm stuff, they got snow stuff. They're not even cheap. Like they've got, they've got side-by-sides that are like $17,000. So they're really trying to compete with these big uh, brands. They got boats. They have these things called vessels. Check this out. It's like this portable like house slash spaceship it looks like. We looked them up and these things are like $180,000. So I don't know what type of company this is, but they make some. They're kind of all over the place. You got the Vulgar. You also have the one we didn't buy. That's the Naja, or the Naha, which according to Ben, that means Cobra. Modern high boy. Naja comes with a bang. <laughs> Naja comes with it a comes bang. with a bang? Naja comes with a bang. Oh, is that one the real motorcycle? The one that you didn't buy? Same thing, but high bars and different tank. Does it include an exhaust pipe as a feature? They clearly have an exhaust. That's what it should look like. We gotta, we gotta contact them because I need that exhaust. So after browsing through their website and pointing out all the grammatical errors, I called the local Massimo dealership. Yeah, do you guys sell um, Massimo bikes? What's that? And it didn't seem too surprised that my bike was missing the exhaust. It came in on a, like a, on a truck, but it didn't come with an exhaust. Yeah. He also informed me that he was not a dealer anymore. So I called Massimo Corporate, where I got quick customer service. and a nice American-speaking man. Also, I never got a title. Hmm. interesting. Who said that they would ship out my exhaust and title at once. How, uh, if you one day shipped it to uh, Pennsylvania, how long would that take? I would say two to three business days at most. And I should see it by next Wednesday. But at the time of making this video, it is still not showing up. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of a cool bike. And it's also really, really stretched out. I don't know what it's gonna ride like. Check, check out these tires. Tim's son. Tim's, what? You ever hear of Tim's son tires? Never. What is going on with this? I feel like what they did was they took some custom build bobber and they took features like this and they didn't know what they actually did or why they was there. And they're like, let's put this on our bike. I mean, this would be like the, like the, the oil. Oil tank, yeah. The oil tank. Maybe the exhaust is in there. This is a back seat. Right? Huh? This is not, if it was up or here. Or is it a race pad? That would be up here though. I mean, like a race, like, wait, is it like this? <laughs> <laughs> you look so racy. I'm so racy. Or is it like this? Yeah, there you go. Super racy. But they think this is for a back seat. It's for your girlfriend. Wh wh where is she putting her feet? Up around you. Like this? Yes. That's so hot. It's like you never rode a motorcycle with a girlfriend before. But she got to put her feet somewhere. She's going to end up putting her feet inside the chain, mm -hmm. cutting her foot off. And then you have to make her your wife because you kind of broke her. It wasn't very thought out when they put this thing together. You're like, I really want that faux oil tank, but the exhaust is meh. Take her or leave it. that faux oil tank. <laughs> She's going to put her legs up on the... <laughs> yeah, up on the signals. Yeah, you know, the, the accent pieces are kind of cool. This like, is cool. This is very neat. cool. Check, yeah, check this I thing think, out. I think the handlebar mounts are cool. So normally on a motorcycle like this, you would have a, a primary and a transmission that would be sitting back here. It's kind of what they're making it look like here with this. That's right. the look it, they were going for, yes. Right. It'd, be, it'd be like a, you know, like a Harley Davidson type right. of motor. Yeah. Where this is a Chinese type of motor where the transmission, or an import bike, where the transmission is inside the case. So most likely this is a LaFon engine because the, the style of the bike, they were just 
just be a huge space right here. But they put this little block. Is there some shocks in there? Is there? There's a shock. Oh, the shocks are on the bottom? Mm-hmm. Let's pop these caps off. How many more days of warranty do we have in case we break it? Maybe a month. That bolt has worked its way out. Now I'm a little suspicious of all the bolts. Ah, it's fine. They were supposed to make you feel better about this by saying assembled in America. And military grade. And military grade. All right, here's a question for you. I've seen a lot of motorcycles. None of them had screws holding the valve cover. So it's like, these are just cheap looking crappy screws. It would look better without it. Oh, this is a very small engine. <laughs> Are these like, are these almost like fake cylinder walls? Cause look, cause like the engine's way down here. Yeah, so this is all head and that's cylinder. Valve cover. There's not normally like, is this kind of like fake? Yeah. Like well, this, this is, part is of. yeah, this is the head. The valve cover would be on top. Like over here, look at this engine. That's your head. That's your cylinder. It's your valve cover. I feel like this bike's a sham. Shammy sham. This bike is like my marriage. A sham wow. A big fake. Big fraud, a big green card marriage. And then I found out my wife was from Georgia, the state. And yeah, and you're like, oh my Not gosh. Not even the country, I don't get anything from this. Wait, it looks better with them or without them? I hate these metal, cheap metal spark plug boots. Yeah, what's up with that? That's the cheapestly made spark plug wire I've ever seen in my life. I'm not sure this is legit. It's on there very well. Maybe it is. Like, like this thing's in the way. Right. I'm gonna pop it off. Where's Ooh. the battery even go? Does it go down there in that box? Did they not design a place for the battery? That would be funny. Does it go inside this thing? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's in here. We gotta pop this seat up. You know what they really screwed up on with this bike? They really kind of missed out. They, should, they could have put a kickstart on here and made it like 2% better. 2%? Two times. While well, you're doing that, I'm gonna tell the people in the camera something awesome. I got something for the team that they don't know about. It's not here yet, but before, before Christmas, it's gonna be Awesome. Let's go back. No one knows about it. Put in the comments what you think it might be. What's the verdict? Verdict. I need to pull these off yet. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna find some ends and I'll go get the battery. So it's just normal to see this on a motorcycle, but it's always a black rubber piece. This looks like a uh, like a rubber band. Feel this. Looks and is the largest rubber band you've ever seen. Oh yeah, that's funny. Doing a great job, Sean. Well, I'm a mechanic now. What do you think the interview process is like? Do you know how to assemble a motorcycle? Eh, kind of perfect. You're hired. Now, the interview process is, have you ever seen a motorcycle? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious that they had some type of plan for highway engine guard or highway pegs up here that they just ditched, I guess. If this is the horn, what is this? Oh, uh, that's uh, electrical connections. Look at this billet made uh, aluminum bracket for the brake caliper. See that, Greg? I saw that, that's really cool. That's kinda cool. So Ben just noticed something. This bike kinda has two different names. It says Voger on the side, but then the box said Zeph on the side. What? This bike, there's multiple Zephs in there. That one says manufacturer Zeph's motorcycles. Did we just buy a Zeph motorcycle? I thought I was buying a quality Massimo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look up a Zeph's. It's this thing, Zeph is a thing. I think we're ready to fire this thing up. You know what we need down here, Craig? The mechanic's pillow. The mechanic's pillow. The next thing to come out of bikes and beards. Oil, water resistant. You, if you're laying on the ground, you put it right here. If you're working on something sideways, you, it's square, you put it right here. It could be Bluetooth for, <laughs> for I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this button's over here. Uh-oh, that one's falling off. Is that screw on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. That's kind of cool looking. Interesting enough, there's no red neutral light. Green neutral light. Green neutral light, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How many cranks do you think it's gonna take before it fires up? Well, it'll probably take three cranks until we, you know, decide we're gonna put gas in it, and then it'll fire right up, so four. All right, let's put gas in it. Okay. I bought two of those cool siphons that I, I saw Brandon use, those shake ones. I got one. Thanks for telling me about it. Went and bought two of them. Classic Craig. Classic Craig. I can't tell you all my secrets or else I won't be there when I need it. 
guys, just throwing this out there. If we started a YouTube channel for Craig, Craig should, we, should we call it Classic Craig? Just, just comment below. I want to know. And do you guys want to see that? Yeah, this is gasish. Never trust a government that doesn't trust you with gas spouts. That's what I say. Well, this is fuel injected, so I think it's gonna pop off pretty quick. <laughs> it sounds like a it sounds like a bubble machine. It runs on bubbles. <laughs> do it again. Do it, it again. Like a bubble Than most half the bikes out there. <laughs> it's like SpongeBob's motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. People get mad. They're like, why are you cutting those good straps? These straps are awful. Yeah, yeah we don't want anybody to accidentally use hurt them. themselves. It's tank straps or nothing. Tank straps. The only straps I use when I'm firing up my bubble bike. Bubble bike. Here's one thing about it. Let me say something good about this bike. It's unique, but it does not feel small. A lot of these import bikes, they feel really small and I'd be like this. This is stretched out. This is like a big man's bike. All right, I'm gonna fire this thing up, bubble our way out to the parking lot. Let's take it for a spin. I gotta say though, it feels, it feels exactly like the way you think it would from the way it looked. It feels awful. I mean, they shipped it all the way from Texas, China, Texas. Remember that, remember that movie Flubber? I don't, see when Craig rode over, I don't think he tried that. I think it, it, it wouldn't turn. Brakes okay? I didn't even try the brakes. I think Craig fell in love with that bike and he's just gone. He found that one thing that could take him away from his family and his job and his friends and all that stuff and, and it was Bubbles' bike. <laughs> oh, here he comes back, he's coming back. He hates Bubbles' bike. I say quick, it's not quick, but it'll, it moves. We just figured out a way to run a motorcycle off of water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, you're gonna love this thing. I, I'm, I'm gonna get one of these. Are you? Yeah. And the first modification I'm gonna do, take the exhaust off. Take the exhaust off. Yep. It puts a smile on my face. It makes me feel like I'm in, a, in an aquarium. <laughs> Hope you didn't go out on the road because there's like, there's like four ounces of gas in there. How long do those brakes work? Yeah, we'll find out. It's not the most awful thing I've ever ridden. Right? Imagine being like 16 years old. Oh my gosh. This is like the first thing you've ever ridden on the street. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not for 7,000 bucks. Not so. even close. Bucks. Not for 5,000 bucks. Not for 5,000 bucks, but if this was 3,500 bucks. Less than 4,500 bucks. Less than 25? Less than, yeah. if it was 2,000 bucks. Well. If this thing was 1,700 bucks. Dude, yeah, so if this was 1,300 bucks. 1,300 bucks. For 700 bucks. Dude, I'd pay six and a half for this all day. For 300 bucks, this ain't bad. I think we need a longer test drive on this bike. Yep. Subscribe, we'll see you guys next time. Bubbles. Why, why, why was it moving all goofy? <laughs>